Question 5. Solid aluminum chloride sublimes at 178 degrees C. Which structure best represents the species in the vapor at this temperature? Uh, I suggest uh, you all to refer uh, the textbook, uh, the Cambridge Endorsed textbook. And uh, this is the part that I uh, took from the textbook. So uh, it's uh, just a, a small part about aluminum correct from the textbook. Okay, aluminum correct is sometimes represented as ALCl3, which suggests its chemical bonding is likely to be ionic. Okay, which the aluminum ions and chloride ion in giant lattice. But however, this ionic structure it will just be the inside the solid hydrated aluminum chloride. Means when there is a presence of the crystallization or uh, uh, water crystallization, so most likely the aluminum chloride will be the giant uh, lattice structure, giant ionic. Without water, without water, it exists as Al2Cl6. Okay, this can be thought of the dimer means the two AlCl3 molecules now okay, form dimers. So which okay, look like this. So it will be two dative bonds form. Okay, this is the one dative bond. Another dative bond is here. Okay, the pair of electrons from the chlorine donates to aluminum and this chlorine will donate this uh, pair of electrons to another aluminum. So it will form two dative bonds here. So the, the arrow will point to the aluminum. So again, without water, especially the crystallization of water, so the ALC, Al2Cl6 will be the uh, the molecules okay, that uh, can represent the aluminum chloride. Yeah, this is from the textbook. Yeah? So therefore, answer is A. So uh, without the water, right? So normally the <clears throat> structure that can best represent the aluminum chloride is Al2Cl6. And the dative bonds is here. Right, so B okay, is wrong because uh, wrong direction, right? Okay, so therefore answer is A. I hope you all uh, understand and uh, it's better to refer to the textbook. Okay, thank you.